a suspension bridge is just inherently a very flexible design. The roadbed is suspended from two large main cables that have spanned across a, a body of water or a gorge. Early on, we were interested in the various modes that the bridge vibrated in. So it vibrates sideways and up and down. It has three or four major modes. And we thought, well, what if we could play with those modes so that when you poked this object that we made, it replicated some of those modes. And so visually, I think it was important that it looked like the bridge. But in a lot of ways, we were trying to do exactly the opposite of what the bridge engineers were trying to do, which was to dampen all of these modes. We were actually trying to enliven all of these modes. The most basic mode is this uh, swinging mode here. It's really something that happens when the wind blows, if you get a steady wind. Um, I understand that the bridge is designed to tolerate a 27-foot displacement. In reality, about a, a 40 or 45 mile an hour wind will push it about six feet or so. This is the fundamental of the vertical mode and it's inherent in the suspension bridge design. If I push down on it, what will happen is that you'll you pull the, you distort the main uh, cables into this V shape here. It'll only go so far before the cables completely straighten up, uh, both uh, from here to the tower and then from the tower to the anchorage. And then it just won't distort anymore. Now they're taking straight lines. The other uh, extreme is when it's up and you kind of get this flattened uh, U shape on it. So those are the, the two distortions that the main cable uh, you know, goes through, which allows this mode of vibration that you get. It's so lively, it's, it's kind of, you automatically start to pump it and watch it go up and down. The next mode would be when, if you kind of pull the, the deck over to one side or the other, you get this sloshing kind of a motion. So if I go over here about like so, and if I pull down, it will distort the cables and sort of cause the deck to slosh back and forth. And if you look at the deck over here, you could actually see it moving in and out of the tower. In the real bridge, you wouldn't get the side span moving along with it. You have uh, fingers that are in the towers. And you can see these if you bicycle over the or, or walk in the bridge. You'll see these slabs of steel, one after the other, all the way across the, the deck. And those are that's the expansion joint. The next torsional mode um, is instigated by the same distortion of the vertical motion of the uh, bridge. Uh, if I, but if they're out of phase, if, uh, if instead of both going up and down together, if they go out of phase of each other, then you'll notice that if I twist the middle of this, uh, the bridge in one direction, the other on either side of it, it twists in the opposite direction. Well, that's it there. Actually, that's the, the third one. Can I do the second? I'll we'll try it from this end because I got the... This motion is fast right here. And as soon as, as I get a pendulum out here, it slows it way down. And then it becomes this very graceful looking um, undulation that the real, you know, that the movie of the Tacoma Narrows ha has. Obviously, this doesn't really happen on the Golden Gate Bridge. They've damped it out. Everything moves very slow on such a large structure as this, so there's not a lot of, of uh, seismic issues. I'm going to fake this one. I don't have the final anchorage on here now, but essentially the anchorage can move back and forth. And you can see it's only the side span moving. It doesn't really go into the, the main span. I think I could do a little faster one as well. So there's another one. The piers are just anchored all the way right down into bedrock. And under seismic events and whatnot, the piers just really don't move much at all. If I uh, shake the uh, towers and whatnot, 
sure, the tops of the towers move and the main cables, but the deck is pretty much isolated from any, any kind of motion. It's really hard to get the deck to do anything uh, um, you know, at all because it's just hanging like a big swing. You can push on the cable and you can see how the main span picks up. And that's kind of a neat, uh, very you know, instructive demonstration to do. And, uh, and actually, this is, you, can, you could also get it to bounce around and you can get it to respond quite lively by just playing with the side spans as well. I just don't have any idea from looking at a bridge that it can you know, undulate in this many fashions. And from seeing the model, they walk away with a new insight and a new appreciation for the design of a, of a suspension bridge.